I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. I'm here with Natalie from MSI UK, who's brought along his GS65 laptop for a preview. A preview because it's an engineering sample, it's not the finished version. We're doing this in the middle of March and the launch is early April. Uh, the key feature of this laptop for me is the mobile Intel 8th gen Coffee Lake CPU, six cores, 12 threads because of hyperthreading. However, there are many other features, in particular the screen. For that, over to Natalie. So what we have here is a 15.6 inch 1080p screen, but it's also 144 hertz and an IPS level display. Now previously the highest hertz rating on an MSI laptop was... 120 hertz. So we're into new territory. Now to squeeze that 15.6 into this uh, 14 inch laptop, there the bezel is one obvious change. It's how yeah. thick? It's 4.9 millimeters. And then we've got, uh, because obviously the smaller chassis goes down to the lower deck as well. So the keyboard has lost its numpad, uh, but it looks like a full size keyboard to me and it's by it's Steel Series. Yeah. Uh, so the features of the keyboard. So the keyboard is a per key RGB keyboard, which means each key is individually backlit and customizable. So if you want to set a certain theme, like the, the UK flag, or if you want to make it adapt to a certain game, you can do that. Now, we've had the argument many times about RGB keyboards. The rainbow marquee looks absolutely true. This does look good, no two ways about it. The fact I know when I get a laptop like this, I'm gonna turn it to white. I'm gonna turn it down and then I can type on it. RGB, I simply cannot type on it, but it looks pretty. We will feature that in the review for absolutely sure. Uh, the thinness and the lightness, Let's talk about the weight and the features. Yeah. So this one weighs in at 1.8 kilograms, which is very, very light for a gaming laptop. Um, we also have a newly designed power brick, which is also very, very thin and portable. Um, normally with thinner laptops or even consoles, you'll just get this huge power brick, which is completely unwieldy, but we've, we've tried hard to slim it down and that's what we've done with this one. Um, as far as width goes, it's only 17.7 millimeters thick, which is very, very thin for a laptop. Uh, cooling system inside because obviously it's uh, uh, cramming a cooling system into a, a laptop of this thinness mm -hmm. is uh, not the easiest task. So what's the cooling system? So we have in this our Cooler Boost Trinity which is four heat pipes, three fans and welding blades on each fan to get the best performance out of the CPU and GPU. Okay, well what is the GPU? The choice of two. Yes, there are two choices for GPUs, so you can have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 or 1070 Max-Q version in the GS65. Okay, and that's obviously a, a de-volted, de version of the regular 1070, which means you can fit it into a, a slender package such as this. A regular 1070 in a chassis like this would be a sight to behold, I think. we. Can it would agree. be very hot, I think. Battery capacity. Have we lost out on battery? Uh, no, we definitely have not. The battery life has actually been increased to up to eight hours usage. Um, that's for productivity usage. As for gaming, we will um, definitely see an increase in the amount of time you can game unplugged, but these things are generally designed to be plugged in while you're playing games. In fact, it's one of the, one of the things at Kigaru, we, we make a point of uh, doing gaming and laptops with the mains connected because, because sometimes you see the performance just crash through the floor. Continuing the theme of thinness and lightness, cramming the ports and connectors in a laptop like this is not the easiest job, so you can forget about an optical drive. There are no ports and connectors on the back or the front. What have we got in the sides? On the left hand side we have two USB 3 ports, a Ethernet port and a headphone and microphone jack. On the right hand side we have one USB port, one HDMI port, we have a Thunderbolt 3 or main display port and a USB 3.1 Type-C. Okay, and there's a, a notable gold theme has crept in. MSI typically black and red. Mm -hmm. uh, here we have black and gold. What's going on and where will we find the gold accents? We've gone for something completely new here. So on the side exhaust vents, you'll have a slight gold accent as well as around the power button, touchpad and the logo on the back. Okie dokie, but Lucky the Dragon continues to be black and red as expected. Um, for now. <laughs> Oh, there's a thing. Because it's so thin and so light, naturally you can forget about mechanical drives, but uh, what's the story with uh, memory and storage? So we've gone for pure SSD storage in this one, so you can fit up to two M.2 NVMe drives in there. Uh, RAM-wise, you'll get up to 32 gigabytes in there of 2,666 megahertz. Okie dokie. And then the software. Dragon Center software is what you use to control your MSI laptop. Uh, this software has been updated for this model uh, and there's a new mode as well. Yes, so we have something called game mode, which um, I don't know if you're familiar with Dragon Center software, but what that does is it allows you to change your 
screen colors to, for example, gaming or RGB or anti-blue light mode for nighttime. Um, it can also change your fan speed, your power mode, and you can also overclock on some models. The new feature we've added in, what that does is, is four things. So first of all, it will set your screen color to gaming mode. It will free up any RAM that it can do. It will activate Nehemic, which is our audio software for gaming. And it will also set the keyboard to the game mode for the game that you're playing. So for example, if you're playing something like PUBG, StarCraft, it will flash in those colors while you're in the game. And once you quit out of the game, it will just revert back to how it was before. So it manages it all for you in one click, job done, nothing to worry about for the, for the consumer. Uh, so key features to wrap up, apart from the new Intel 8th gen mobile processor with more cores, thinness, lightness, big screen, small chassis. If we focus for a moment on that mobile Intel 8th gen Coffee Lake processor with the six cores, 12 threads, Obviously, a big question is who's going to benefit from the six cores, 12 threads over four cores and eight threads? Well, many different people, really. Um, what we're finding now is that people don't just use their gaming laptops to game. They also use them for work. They use them for video editing. Um, maybe people will stream on Twitch, which will obviously use more than four cores. Um, also, plenty of games now that will be coming out will be utilising more than four cores with the new DirectX. Okie dokie. Uh, and we're going to know more about that, obviously, when we actually get our hands on a final version that we can benchmark and uh, basically thrash mercilessly. Uh, so we can expect to see a sample of this approximately when? Early April. Excellent. Looking forward to that. So uh, basically, almost immediately after you've seen this video, very likely, but in my case, it's a couple of weeks away, so that's quite annoying. Um, we're now going to have an argument about gaming because this has been a heated thing, but we're going to do it off camera. So in the meanwhile, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want more from Kit Guru, click to subscribe. Do click the little bell uh, so you'll be notified about more videos from Kit Guru as they arrive. I'm Leo Water for Kit Guru. This is the GS65, and this is Natalie from MSI UK. Mm -hmm.